You're responsible for deploying the first Dell Apex Cloud platforms for Microsoft Azure at Weigelby. Dell Pro Deploy Services is here to accelerate your time to value. They'll provide a white glove experience by walking you through your first end-to-end -end deployments and help you gain confidence with the process. Now, in the future, you'll be able to deploy the platforms yourself following a guided wizard-based workflow. There will also be an option to deploy platforms programmatically using REST APIs. For now, you'll take the guided approach and connect to the Cloud Platform Manager's deployment UI from your web browser. The workflow begins with a checklist of prerequisite tasks, which are taken directly from the deployment planning guides. Once the prerequisites are met, you'll proceed with the rest of the steps. Well, let's take a look at a few of these steps now. There's two configuration methods available for your guided deployments. With one approach, you upload a JSON file created in the Apex Cloud Platform Configuration Portal. The Configuration Portal provides extensive explanations about all configuration options so you can make informed decisions when planning your deployments. The JSON files created with this portal can also be duplicated and customized for rapid deployment of multiple clusters. For now, you'll proceed with the other configuration method, which allows you to input configuration setting values as you progress step-by-step -step through the Cloud Platform Manager deployment UI. Automated node discovery occurs, and you select between one and six servers. Since you're building a four-node cluster, the switched storage networking topology is selected by default. The home icon indicates that the Cloud Platform Manager virtual machine is running on cluster node 4. Now, many property values auto-populate to prevent guesswork. However, you can manually configure some settings for advanced scenarios. For example, you can allow the deployment automation to perform Windows Admin Center extension and cluster registration for you, or you can do it yourself after the deployment is complete. Same with server settings. It's easiest to select auto complete for the server configuration method, but you can also click advanced and insert unique property values for each server if required. Network ATC simplifies the deployment and networking configuration management for Azure Stack HCI clusters. It provides an intent-based approach to setting up host networking. You create one network intent for management and compute traffic and one for storage in this case. Then you'll customize some of the settings for storage traffic. After you've configured all your settings, the software performs validation to ensure that the Apex Cloud Platform configuration is fully supported and that all environmental requirements have been met. In this case, you would need to navigate back to the network intent and network settings steps to correct the errors and then run the validation again. Once validation succeeds, it's just a matter of clicking the deploy the configuration button. And you can monitor the deployment progress using a few details. Uh, there's nothing like the feeling you get from a successful deployment. From here, you proceed to Windows Admin Center and to the extension created to integrate Dell Apex Cloud Platform Foundation software management capabilities into Windows Admin Center. Uh, this will be your primary tool for any day two operations that involve drilling down into individual platforms at a granular level. For fleet management at scale, you'll rely on Azure management and governance services.